coming back for the second podcast of Hawk Talk, and next to me as usual, Mr. James Tate. How have you been, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Mr. Crew, crew Troop Captain, it's good to be with you again here. Nah, it's good, mate. And how do you think our first podcast actually went out? The first episode. Oh, well, it was good. We cut out all the bloopers, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it sounded not too bad for us, I suppose. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I, I must admit, when I first actually went out, um, I made sure the kids stayed up past their bedtime to get all the devices to have a listen. So I thought at least we could have 10 subscribers for the, for the night before we got there. So yeah, no, it's uh, global and trending. It's great. Yeah, no, it was good. But uh, so how's your week been, mate? Anyway, how's, uh, how's the rock stardom going? We're just walking, walking down the club with the sunnies on and the hat on and oh, everyone really. asking for autographs. Or? Not really. It was uh, struggling the nets like <laughs> usual and uh, trying to get around the boys, make everyone else comfortable and make some runs this year yeah a bit of hope mate a bit of hope but uh have a swing of the beer there but uh we we've got to get into we you know when we start doing making podcasts we uh might make a couple of mistakes early on mate and uh i think we owed a couple of apologies from last week yeah might have stuffed uh, up a couple of things might have stuffed up a couple of them but the first one look Mr. Matty Van Dyke, I, I do apologise, <laughs> mate. Your name is Matty Van Eck. I've only been around the club for about twenty years, and I might have got that one wrong. But yeah. uh, say, so Matthew Van Eck, mate, yeah. uh, congratulations on that appointment. Uh, the second one, I think I gave this guy a bit of heart palpitations. Actually, <laughs> Carl Rich, I I said you were a president, and apparently you nearly fell out of bed. That's <laughs> what he listened to. But he's actually our treasurer, so he well, do a good job. Yeah. Uh, welcome, Carl. And Harry, mate, I think uh, made it, made it a little bit earlier with that one. I oh, know. I think I said, Harry, you played at Grant District. Uh, looks like you actually only played at Broken Hill 4, so it went a bit early. It gave you a pump up, but um, hopefully you can uh, live up to some of your form at Broken Hill. That'd be great for the club. <laughs> no, it was, actually, it was actually a case of two obvious guys that he's come from, but uh, anyway, no, all the best there, Harry. And uh, young Taj, 130 in swingers. I, I was pretty excited with that. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't know. I think it's about 30, 30 <laughs> kilometer in swingers. They, apparently, they swing, so it's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were, or another welcome addition, but uh, a bit of fun there, mate. But um, how did how did uh, the segments go last week, mate? I, I, we got a kind of some good feedback on the the Tobog segment. I think that was a pretty uh, a yeah. good good crack. Yeah, well, I think a few of the boys who were on the crew trip uh, they they loved that and <laughs> they wanted to talk about that more. But uh, <laughs> I think I think we might actually get into the the Tobog story early on this week so we'll just keep a little bit un, um, interested and yep. we might break it up in terms of the segments um going through some you know stuff that we need to go through and, and then we'll get some bit of fun stuff there at the end as well so um well the toe ball we'll get into the toe ball yeah, of the week. the toe ball the week this week <laughs> well we can't name names but uh this was a, a this was sent in from a few of my mates uh was on a footy trip once again. Gold Coast. <laughs> That's where it all happens. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all yeah, this fun stuff. A bit of fun stuff on the Gold Coast, but uh, so this is on a on a footy trip and uh, little Johnny again. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> He's got the toe ball. Carry on. The toe Carry ball on. hat there. So this is this the toe ball hat, but. Uh, Little Johnny up on the Gold Coast, once again, uh, doing his fine stuff, as, as you would do over the period of time. But this is on a Sunday, so little Johnny's gone pretty hard there for about <laughs> two to three days. And one of the boys actually thought it might have been a good idea. We're looking online, you know, what do we do on a Sunday? You know, sometimes yeah. it's a bit boring and you might have a couple of beers here or there. But they found this place as the bowling alley, and it was actually BYO. So, well, yeah. well, can't go wrong there. <laughs> so, what, what, more, what more can go wrong when you're on a two day and <laughs> drinking a lot of waters and um, trying to rehydrate for the next day? So, anyway, so on the Sunday, we've, uh, that, well, they actually, sorry, they, they walked up to the, to the bowling alley and uh, might have been about 25 of them and uh, yep. had a three, four slabs of waters on the shoulders and what yeah, yeah, yeah. have been yeah. 11 o'clock in the morning or something like that. What else are you doing when you're rocking up to a bowling alley? <laughs> Dropped in and uh, I just, I never forget they were saying that uh, the lady behind the, the counter, she was the manager, you can just see a jaw drop as uh, there's 25 <laughs> blokes walking in and looking to play a couple of games of bowling anyway. So they get there and she goes, all right guys, you know, he, yeah, just here's your shoes and pick your shoes and everything <laughs> like that and couple of boys having a couple of waters in the background and everything was fine and <laughs> this 16 year old behind the, the counter and he was just uh, you know just taking in all the atmosphere of uh, the, the 25 blokes that uh, have been up there for a few days so we finally get our lanes and get the shoe on and 
you know, at the start was pretty good, yeah. Yeah, but then it just gets a bit boring after 20, 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> bowling on a yeah, cricket trip is probably not, not the greatest idea. <laughs> so but we get there, we thought, one of the boys said, we might just liven this up a little bit. And he said to, uh, to, to Maxi, he goes, Maxi, mate, Maxi. Uh, how about you just bowl me down the bowling alley? <laughs> 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 you look like you're, you're, you're striking them pretty good, so how about you just get us down the bowling alley? And I reckon in about two minutes as uh, he was lining uh, little Johnny up, little Max, he was like, where I'm going to go, just trying to pick which, uh, yeah, which direction of the lane. I've never seen probably 20 blokes get their shoes off as quick as possible <laughs> in the background. And, uh, time to go. Time to go. So, yeah, anyway, Max, he's uh, rolled him down or threw him down the, the bowling alley and little Johnny's running down and it's quite slippery, as you can imagine, yeah, as he's yeah, trying to get yeah. down the other end and... He's gone over once and gone over twice. He thought, oh, bugger this, I'll get on the, the slip lane. He's gone, he's gone on the better going and he's got down to the end. Well, he's jumped back in, he's gone head first into the bowling balls. And I never know, have you ever picked a bowling ball up to? Yeah, they're not that light. They? Yeah, not very light. And when you've got 12 of them hitting on the nogger, <laughs> you come out second best. So you would. Little Johnny, and especially when you've got your arms behind you, actually, yeah, yeah, like yeah. this, you're not going to think that through. No, nah, but. Nah. He did put a strike in anyway. <laughs> so he's got up and he's he's given this one to the crowd. Right, that. By that stage, the whole place is dead quiet. There's <laughs> not everyone has stopped playing bowling. The whole place is dead quiet. There's only two of them left in the bowl now. <laughs> the rest of the boys have hightailed out of there. They've gone. There's waters laying all around in the joint. And all you, all you see in the background is the manager with the, the look on her face and despair, just shaking her head. And the 16-year-old kid just going, this is the best day of my life. So, <laughs> so table of the week goes to little Johnny on that little one. Johnny, but, he's, uh, having a, he's having a good trot, a little Johnny. Yeah, a little Johnny. I think he might get himself in a bit of trouble here <laughs> there later on some of these trips. But uh, so, a bit of fun. Yeah, <laughs> so that was the table of the week. So well done there. And uh, thanks for the story, boys. That was going in. And yeah. once again, if you do have any stories, like we said, PG rated, of course. Um, you know, it might be a couple of waters involved, but uh, we have got a new email address there, Tate. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so we've, we've gone up a class now. We, we thought we're, we're quite big now, so it's time to get the big guns out. Yeah, apparently we <laughs> did blow up the uh, the Roval Crew Club uh, <laughs> web page, so yeah, yeah. yeah, we've got our own one. Yeah, so it's rovalhawktalk at gmail.com, so send a couple of those through, please, guys. But uh yeah, so anyway, mate, we're back to business. Um, the juniors, um, get, the, get the hat off. So. Leave him for next week. Now he's off. Um, Thanks, Steve. And, uh, little Johnny, you mean? Uh, Johnny, little Johnny. Little Johnny, anyway. Um, to the juniors, mate. So the juniors are up and going now. Uh, as we know, I think there's been a meeting during the week uh, for juniors and seniors. We'll get to the seniors later, but we've got a bit of start dates, which is great. Right. Um, and uh, the juniors, the... First thing is, um, I think the best thing to hear, we, we've cracked 100. Yeah. 100 actual yeah, juniors for the club. club. So congratulations there to all involved. Once again, Mark and Steve doing a great job. Uh, last year, we ended up with 114. So to have 100 this early, yeah. it's it's sensational, guys. Especially so with COVID, all that sort of stuff. So exactly really right. And, th and that's just the hard work they're doing. We keep repeating it, but um, getting out to, you know, communicating with everyone and getting out to everyone, mate, super job there, boys. But... With the juniors up and coming, the, the fast nines and under 12s and under 14s, they're actually starting um, on the 12th of November on a Friday night. Um, they are training at the moment. Um, their training is gonna be on a Tuesday night. Um, the fast nines are at liberty, so please just remember that there is a bit of split here. And the under 12s and under 14s will be at Seabeck. Now I'm led to believe it's 4.30 to 6. If you're a bit unsure, just go on to our Facebook page. Um, we've got a junior um, set or slide there, so have a look and all that information is there, so that's great stuff. Uh, I think the Junior Master Blasters, uh, Junior and Master Blasters, the, they're starting on Sunday the 14th of November, um, roughly are about 9, 9.30. Once again, that's to be confirmed, so, and I think that's down at Seabeck, mate, so hopefully uh, a few of the senior boys get down there and I know that you'll be down there, buddy, doing I'll some there. interviews. I'll tell you, you won't be there, Joel. <laughs> Joel will not be there at 9.30. He'll be nursing a hangover, that's what he'll be doing, like every other 
other Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> no, he deserves a break here and there, mate. He, uh, he, he does his best work at night, apparently. But uh, so, and uh, the Super Seven matches uh, start on Wednesday the seventeenth, so a week later. Um, training for them is on a Monday uh, for five to six thirty. Um, they're doing a Wednesday up until then as well. But please, once again, visit the uh, the Roble uh, Ro- <laughs> Roble Facebook page, um, and that that'll be confirmed. So that's good. Now the other thing, Tate, very important is as a as a, yeah, as a junior, you know, trying to come through. It uh, it's a try cricket day. So anyone out there, you've got some friends. Um, nieces, nephews, sons, daughters, whatever it is, um, in looking to, to get into cricket, it is really, really good. Uh, good atmosphere, meeting other people, also for the parents. Um, we're having it for the junior and master blasters and also the super sevens. Um, we're having a day, you know, a bit of fun on, a, on the Saturday the 6th of November and Sunday the 7th of November at Liberty. Now, I'm led to believe that started at 9.30 to 11. Um, yep. Yep. So chances are, mate, I might see you down there with me trying uh, to try, uh, well, out. try cricket. We've been trying for yeah, about twenty years. So, <laughs> so yeah, you'll yeah, see the great coming. man next to me right there. So no, keep it's good. Trying, keep trying. Yeah. <laughs> and the the juniors also what they did for the families. Uh, we at Hol, um, Hallmark coming on board. Uh, they did a fifty dollar voucher for two juniors. Um, the first one was the uh, Brock Stop, so the Stop family. Uh, congratulations from Listerfield. They are new, so congratulations. It's good, it's good the club's pinching uh, juniors out of Listerfield. It's good to see, and hopefully that continues. <laughs> All around the place, mate. We want them from everywhere. So, it's got the whole and, over. Yeah, over, over. And uh, the other $50 voucher went to, and excuse me if I can't pronounce this, but uh, as Adelo Willage is the junior brothers. So congratulations there, guys. And they're in the, the junior blasters. So uh, great work there. Straight away, another $50 voucher there from one of our sponsors. Um, great work. So, But um, we talked about the segment last week. We, we talked said about stories. Yep. And I think we might have changed that with a bit of wisdom from someone else. Um, we'll call it, uh, we're going to call a segment called On The Nose. Now, what is this is about is about some hard luck stories. And that could be on the cricket field, could be on the punt. Um, could general be just, life. General life, yep. could be just walking down the street and uh, yep. something might have accidentally happened. And, you know, like, oh, a couple of hard luck stories for us too, mate, having a punt last week. <laughs> I think there was at the Most morning. Most punt, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got plenty there, but... Uh, so once again, if you have any hard luck stories, uh, please get to roville at hawktalk at gmail.com. Sorry, roblehawktalk at gmail.com. Send them through and uh, we'll be happy to share those. Um, I do have one. I do yeah, have one. Well, yeah, we've got, got a couple. Oh, I've got another one. This one yeah. told me on a, on a Tuesday <laughs> night. So this come in and this is from actually out of the inner circle, which was That's great. Good. So That's really nice to see. Bit of a hard luck story, so this uh, little joint's been copping a little bit at the no, moment, but we'll, we'll call Maxi this one, so Maxi, yeah, <laughs> Maxi, poor old Maxi. So Maxi was at the, the cricket club, and I think he's had a pretty good night, old Maxi, on a Saturday night, <laughs> and, and uh, he was there to stumps, and uh, Maxi jumped in his car, and probably wasn't the smartest idea. Uh, yeah, too Maxie, many waters to be driving. Too many waters for driving home, but anyway, Maxi only lives 10 minutes around the road, and gets around the corner, and the boys in blue behind him and pull him over unfortunately and uh poor old maxi had to go back to the police station and uh leave his car on the side of the road yeah fair enough doing the wrong thing got done got done exactly got right yep yeah. wear it on the chin wear it on the chin yeah. but they were, they were kind enough to give maxi a lift home he only yeah. lived probably two minutes away from where the car was so yeah. that was fine so you know I mean, you know it's like Tate. You, you might be on a saturday night and you've had a couple of waters and you feel like nah, just a little bit hungry here and, and, what, yeah. are you, what are you like at 12 o'clock at night? What, what well, it's you... probably a bit different now. You can just ring Uber Eats and get something <laughs> delivered. But back, back when, back in the day when uh, Maxi, <laughs> Maxi was a bit hungry. A little bit hungry. He just thought, well, you know, a 7-Eleven meat pie wouldn't go, it wouldn't go yeah. astray. So yeah. he's, <laughs> and, you know, he's probably a bit lazy old Maxi as well, apparently. <laughs> so he couldn't, he was going to walk. So he grabs his spare keys and walks up to the car and thought, oh, I'll go and get this uh, meat pie. So he gets up to 7-Eleven and, Grabs his meat pie and he thought, oh, it's been a couple of hours, so I should be okay. Yeah, that's yeah, nah, fine. He thought he was doing the right thing. <laughs> he thought yeah. he was doing the right thing. So he's, he's driving back with his meat pie and he, once again, same corner. He's just coming around the corner and he's nearly at home and 
drops his meat pie, has a turn in the corner, so he bends down to pick the meat pie up, and next you know, he's rolled his car <laughs> upside down. So Max, he's, he's rolled his car, oh, doing no. about 10 days an hour, because he's dropped his meat pie, and he's, he's upside down, apparently with a seatbelt on. He has got a meat pie and he's hand. Still in the seat. Still in the seat. Oh, he's still in the seat. Couldn't get out of the seat. Couldn't get out of the seat. Somebody had to do his meat pie. 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 Somebody well, the boys on Blue Rock up again. Oh, no, <laughs> the, the, the police officer comes up. The first thing is, oh, are you going to be kidding me? <laughs> the same cop up. Same cop up. <laughs> <laughs> so a bit, a bit stiff there, Max. He's so, Did you get a lift over <laughs> or? I reckon he got a lift home, all right. I reckon about three months later, though. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, yeah, so on the nose there, Max, you're a bit, bit stiff there, mate, a bit of a hard luck story, but I suppose if you're doing the wrong thing, you yeah, might yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> get that out, I suppose. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, so keep, please keep them coming. We do have a few of the hard luck stories um, around, so I think we've got a few for a few weeks, but we oh, want to hear a few more. for a few more seasons. <laughs> we do, but, uh, but uh, getting into the senior state, so we started Tuesday night, and the boys, we had a few good numbers there. We had a really good session on Tuesday. We had... Uh, yeah, a lot more than I thought we had. We've got, obviously, the four sides this year. So, um, yeah, it's good to see everyone's obviously keen. Yep. COVID, all that sort of stuff. So, want to get out and have a hit. Only a couple of weeks till the first, first game. So, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it was, was good. And it looked, uh, like you said, it was some good numbers. And Adzi did a well, good world job yep. first up. And, um, you know, yeah, so it was good to, to get a hit. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably get back to that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. We de- like, I don't know. Yeah. Some blokes definitely needed a good hit. And uh, probably need a few more before the start of the year. I'm thinking one of those as well, mate. So don't worry about that. But, uh, and some good news for the seniors. The guys are uh, starting on the 13th of uh, November, I'm led to believe. Yep. Uh, and the thirds are starting the week after. It might be the thirds and fourths starting the week after, so the ones and ones and twos and a practice match take coming up. Yeah, so uh, yeah, the Prez and Adam have been on to Knox Garden, so we're looking at having a, on the sixth of November, can have a practice match there. Uh, yeah, get everyone heading there before the before the season. So before the good. season, yeah. Yeah, and hopefully everyone's available, mate. Uh, yeah. Should be a pretty good Knox uh, hit out with Knox Gardens. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. So they're they're yeah, very very strong, so. very strong club. So. We'll probably flog them, so that'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get Joey more sell out first call as well, with a bit of luck, so that'll be fine. And uh, and just one of the things as well with the seniors, um, <clears throat> we do have a, a President's Club uh, as well. Yep. So what the President's Club is, is that it's a group of guys uh, who donate or pay, it's $250 uh, for the season. Uh, the money goes to the club, obviously. Um, part of that, though, you do get a shirt. Um, you also get... Uh, Three events that you get free yep. food, uh, free, free beverages, entry, yep. free entry, um, and then also you get a chance to win your money back. So it's a really great thing. There's a yep. couple of players on board, um, but it's a pretty good following. Like 30 yeah. guys, and yeah, I yeah, think yeah. only 5 or 10% of players, yep. the rest of them from outside of players. So it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's good, it's good to have a good following, all the, all the blokes on the hill. Come down every Saturday, follow the ones around, <laughs> abuse us. Uh, I was just joking. They, they support us and get on their drinks and uh, have yeah. a good time. So it's really good. Appreciate that a lot. Yeah. Early this year. No, it's very good. So thanks again, guys. Keep it on board. It does does help the club out. So that's that's really, really good. Um, so in so terms also of that, some other news from the cricket club as well. We've got some new decks, um, both the yeah. top over and the bottom over at Seabeck and also the decks in uh, Liberty for the juniors, the, the training decks have also been done as well, which is fantastic. So a bit of money being forked out by the club. Yeah, well, uh, I want to get a move on. We've got two weeks of the first, <laughs> first ball get bold, so. <laughs> they haven't been done yet, have they? No, no, I haven't even. Been... <laughs> what, are you getting down here on a Saturday or? Well, yeah, if we have to, if we have to. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine us throwing away that? <laughs> well, I do know from last year, there's a fair few cracks running down the middle of the pitch, so we want to get rid of those. It, it brings me, I remember, I remember back in, uh, oh, geez, when I would have been like 2000, 2001, and I'm sure a few of the boys who remember this, the bottom oval never actually had a deck on it, so we used to have to, they used to have to drive like the carpet and peg them in. Yeah, 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 the matting. So, yeah, the matting, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> one day, Pads, uh, the captain of the fours, He's got a, a station wagon and he had the trailer on the back of it. <clears throat> so the good idea was you instead of having the cart all the way down, you chuck it in the back of the, the station wagon and you drive it out and put it up, So, yep. which was fine. So he's driven it out there. He's nailed it down. On the three quarters of the way back, the car got bogged. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get the car off the road, so they played with this car. It went about deep mid wicket. If we hit the car, it was five. <laughs> so, so some good old times down there. Our times have changed. So, no, that's that's great news, guys. So that, that that's good. And 
comes into now one of our other segments is uh, fine of the week. Yeah, I like this. Really. Yeah, so the fine of the week, and what we do down the club, guys, is that we we yell out the fines on a on a Thursday night, and we have a fine of the week. Um, so ten bucks will go to the cricket trip for the fine of the week if you're lucky enough to get it. Yeah, I think I've won it a couple of times actually. <laughs> I was popped at a fair bit. Last year, but, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, and then out of that, it comes fine of the year. We have yeah. a presentation night. We do a fine of the year. An award. Yeah. So I, I just thought I might go through a couple of uh, the fine of the years in the past just to yeah. give the viewers out there a bit of a taste of what uh, of rival yeah. intelligence is like. <laughs> 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 so, and I'm going to put myself in that one category as well, Tana, so don't worry about that, mate. Yeah. But uh, a few years ago, Cowper, we had a, a cricketer, not a bad cricketer, played a bit of ones and twos, and I was actually a bit of battling with him in the ones and twos. He was a keeper, and so yeah. was I. And, no, uh, so he was playing at Knox, uh, Knoxfield this day, and the boys were saying that he was running in late. And he's on the... He's, he's on the phone as he's coming in. They were about to walk out to, to field. And he's coming in on the phone, just screaming into Knoxville. And he's running to like a bollard, like a, a big post. And we'll, we'll put this up and show you, show you what, what the aftermath was oh, like. God. But it was 20 metres long, this post. And it embedded into his um, actual headlight. He had no idea. So he was driving and trying to park this car with a 20 metre post hanging out of it. Everyone from the ground was running over to him to try to get him to stop because I worried about he was going to park next to a car or something like that. Oblivious of what it's like, you know, the gouching or something like that. You look like one of those in the car. So that was definitely fine of the year. That was a good one. Uh, we had another one night, uh, uh, Crash, we call him after this. He's got the nickname Crash, and I'm sure you know who it is, boys. But um, after a hard day slog on a sad day, and maybe a slog on a sad day, <laughs> he's uh, jumped in the car and he's parked, you know, up against the fence and he's kind of put it in reverse or what he thought it was reverse and he's looked behind him put the old foot down and gone straight to the fence <laughs> he ended up on the oval did so. he have any water that night? nah he might have had one or two there's a common thing yeah, yeah, yeah. so we don't endorse that at all though no, we, no, we no, do not, not, not this not is back funny. and we're talking about 20 years ago as yeah. well now so but uh, yeah so his car was stuck there Probably for about three or four days before he had to get in and get it out. So that was fine in the year back in the day. This is one of my favourite ones. Uh, oh, Kenny. Kenny, yeah. So we're looking, we do a good sportsman night down in the club rooms. Yep. And uh, the committee members were, were having a chat about, uh, you know, who the speakers were going to get that night and how much they're going to cost. Yeah, sports and, people. Yeah, sports. Yep. Yeah, about sports. And I think Kenny might have just zoned out a little bit in through the through the actual uh, meeting. A bit just shows how much importance he was paying attention on this one. But so I think he just kind of heard and said, "Oh yeah, the speaker's going to cost us about four thousand dollars." And um, the guys said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll work that one out and yeah. we'll go forward from there." So they got on to the next bit of the agenda, and Kenny just said, "Well, can, guys, can we just go back a little bit, please?" And he goes, the "Speaker's four grand." He, he goes, I don't understand. He goes, I just had my 21st last week and it cost me 250 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I can get those for us if you like. But oh. No, Kenny, we're talking about sports speakers here, mate. Yeah, so that was, like uh, Kenny, yeah. Yeah, so that was fun, fun of the year. And that was, the, that was at the committee meeting. Right? So that was, that was running into, the above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, my last favourite one was uh, old mate Chuck and... Uh, Chooka, if you're out there, mate, we love you. And, uh, <laughs> Chooka. Yeah, I right, hope you're getting a haircut now, mate, in the lockdown. I'm sure I know how you like your, your dye your hair and get your hair cut done, mate. But, so uh, we used to have the iPod shuffle on a on a sad, uh, on a a sad Saturday night um, where you, you pick a couple of songs and your last song's out, you win you know, whatever it is, might be $1,000 or something like yep. this. And we made a rule one night that the last 10 songs had to actually sing their songs at the same time. And, once again, after a few waters there, Tony, it's on a, on a Saturday night. I think we've got this on film, so we might be able to put this one up. I think that we get hold, but uh, so we, we, we got there and it's Chook's turn and you know, Chook kind of gets involved when he yeah, has he a bit of a song and he loves, yeah. loves it. And I think, he, <laughs> I, I think he was a bit of a 70s rock star in his day as well. So part of this song, he's, he's gone up to boot the chair, you know, kick the chair out the way as you do. Well, he's broken his foot when he's kicked us. <laughs> <laughs> he put him out for the season. Play. Sydney was cracking. He couldn't play events and he missed, missed the season. Kicking a chair. So, well done, Chuck. But, oh, so, there, there's some of the fine of the years, yep, Dave, we've yep. had back in the, yeah, back in the day. Hopefully we can right? beat them this year. Oh. Yep. <laughs> there's, a, there's a couple of contenders, I can say, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> right? But um, I think that brings you to the, yeah, the couple of fines already we got. Probably yep. not as funny, but uh, there's a couple. Not of as funny, but... Uh, 
So we've got Crossy, who's the fine master, and he's been uh, good enough to pass on a couple of the fines so far. So uh, we've got a couple of guys, a couple of young blokes, Jolie <laughs> and Mitch. So they've rocked up the training with their own brand new balls. <laughs> so they're bowling the third, the second. They've got their own. They're bowling to these blokes who usually don't really face a new ball. And they're just humming them down with a new ball. So, Swinging a mile. Uh, and let me guess, they were Red Bulls as well. They were Red Bulls. We're playing one day. So anyway. <laughs> Good work there, Anyway, give us a spell, Jolly and Mitch. Uh, That's $2 each, sure. Two bucks each. Yeah. Uh, Tate. Yeah, oh, so, Tate. Tate, it, mate, it's going back to your bat. Going back to your bat. So I, I know we've got hang a bit on, of... Hang on, hang on. Hang on a minute. What's going on here? I didn't see this one. All right, just to let the viewers know out there, uh, we've got a bit of a group chat going on at the moment, as every club does. And I reckon for about... I reckon since last year, since last, start last year, like, <laughs> since last year was done, all we hear about is this back getting made, and we're getting yep. updates, yep. updates every week, and yep. it's yep. in its different stages, and the stickers are on it. Yep. I'm just thinking, this cricket bat, this, mate, it's like Don Bradman's just come down from retirement. It's pretty, 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 pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you got the weapon out on uh, Tuesday night. Yeah, I got the new stick. How would it go? Got to go? Got to sort of get it down. Uh, yeah, first hit for a while. Um, <laughs> Got the new stick out. Been telling all the boys about how good this stick is. Um, Crossy. Telling them. <laughs> and uh, Crossy, he, he comes in first ball. Just thought, yeah, just uh, play this back down the pitch. A little bit of a forward defence. <laughs> yeah, sneak straight to the keeper out. And what, yeah, how's the bat now, mate? <laughs> well, bat, I need a new bat. If there's any uh, bat sponsors out there, I'm looking for a new stick. Re retired already. Well, it might be enough, but um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, if anyone's got a bat I can borrow, train, something, just let us know. What about, you know, when we're playing during the year and we're looking at the highlights? <laughs> <laughs> you know, everyone out there, with, was it, who was it, old mate, were coming down and doing the highlights for us last year? And, oh, the camera guy. Yeah, the Red yeah. Onion, was it? Was the Red Onion or the Onion Red? So anyway, I remember watching it on Facebook and... I think we got the raw end of the stick a yeah, couple of yeah. times. <laughs> I think so every the, time so the, the, the cameraman coming down, you go to a random, a random ground every week, and every time he'd seem to come to a Roval game, all the video footage of was it was either J Mo getting, getting smashed, smashed, smacked every second ball for four, or it was myself getting bowled or uh, getting caught, or and then one like have a good hit one day. Yeah, you have a good hit, and you think you go to raise the bat, look around for this cameraman, and. He's gone. He was there 10 minutes of <laughs> he thought, but he's gone. He, I, I think what had actually happened, I kid you not, we, we lost the wicket. He's seen you walk out, and he's actually packed the camera up. He goes, I've seen these sequels too many times. Oh, like <laughs> it wasn't it. even worth it. Like, <laughs> wasn't even putting on him. Well, I can't, probably can't blame him for that last <laughs> year. It was not a great year. You know, and the first thing that. you said when you come up, where's that camera? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he wasn't there. No. Uh, anyway, so yeah, cool. That's a fine view, Tate. A brand new bat in the maiden for about 12 years and first ball went to, <laughs> went to sleep. So you ain't crossy, you're in the two. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we've got the fine of the week. Yep. Um, well, you might as well tell this one as well because I think you were there. We've got the brand new oh, bat. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. So we've got, uh, yeah, the Prez, Prez Holker, he's been putting out the message, oh, we're going to get these new cricket bags. You can have Roval on there, get your name, your number, all this sort of thing. And everyone, oh, fantastic, I want to have that. So, you know, a few of the guys got the bags and uh, Hulk said, oh, they're here. And everyone goes, picks up their bag. We rock up to cricket training. And one of the boys, uh, Morsi, he's uh, got his bag, he wheels it in and we go, oh, yeah, no, he's Morsi, pat up. He opens up his cricket bag. <laughs> Inside his cricket bag is his old cricket bag. So he hasn't even taken any of his gear out of the bag. He, he's just got his old cricket bag in there. So take, Ingenuity. Oh, yeah, so anyway, so take the time. Take your two pads out, mate, and your bat, and get rid of the old bag. It's probably the whole point of having a new bag. Anyway, yeah. you'll find. <laughs> <laughs> that's 10 bucks for the horse, though. No, good work there, mate. Yeah. But, uh, so, well, that's the finds of the week. As you can see, there's going to be a lot to come. <laughs> there's a lot to live we up to. We haven't even well. started yet. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> but, um, and just a couple of other things. One of the, <clears throat> the major things there, mate, we're talking about the cricket trip. Yep. Um, the multi of the week. Yep. And uh, I think you might have a special might have a special Ooh. guest on during yeah, the year. Is that, can you tell the viewers a bit about that? What, yeah, uh, no, we've done it. We, you know... We want to go on a cricket trip. We want to have. As... <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go on a cricket trip, and we want to have as much money as possible, uh, you know, to have a beer with on a Saturday. And if we can have a beer or a whole Saturday for free for all the boys, we'd love it. So that's what this multi. Yeah, something like that. That'd be good. But the multi of the week 
is going to be towards that. So yeah. I've done a bit of homework. I've, I've got a resident tipster that's going to come in every week. Um, we'll get on the blow. I might really? even get him on the phone Ooh. a couple of times and we'll have a chat to him. <laughs> I heard he's uh, actually not too bad, yeah, actually. He's not too bad. Very he good strike rate. So. Very good strike rate. So. We'll keep his name anonymous, I suppose. Yeah, at yes. the moment, Gav. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Gav. Yep, to so. the number one. Don't worry, mate. It's only about 10 blokes. <laughs> <laughs> so... So we're going to put him to the test now. So we're going to get on to him, and he's given us a couple this week to start us off for our multi. Uh, so he, they'd want to be good, or else everyone's going to be off you. So, <laughs> so we got yeah. uh, in the multi of the week. We, we, we thought we, we we thought we'd go small. Um, we about ten leagues. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, we we thought we'd just make it practical. Uh, a three week log. We, we think we three leg multi, and I yep. think we've got a not a bad little kitty to start. Yeah, well, with, I, I did run around with the boys tonight after training and said, "Come on, boys, put in for rear trip multi." And most of them just sort of looked at me with a, <laughs> "Mate, we're not going to no win trust. anything." Yeah, 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 yeah. No oh, trust. Oh, we never win anything. I said, well, get in. If you don't get in, you're not coming on the trip. So, nah, fair uh, enough. We, we then have to work up uh, 100 bucks for well the done, first boys. multi. Good. So, Good. Um, <laughs> I don't know what they're doing uh, there, mate. Yeah, but... I don't know. I think, uh, Veggie put in one dollar. I think um, Todd put in two dollars. Um, and we did ask for a dollar. I told you we'll get to about five. Not literally a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we'll, we'll, anyway. we'll, we'll turn that into millions, boys. We don't have to yeah, even worry it. about uh, booking your flights. We'll do it for so you. What is it? What have we got first? Well, league? first league. So we've we've gone away from Flemington. We think it's a pretty hard meet yeah, <clears> this yeah. meet uh, this week. It's been um, you know the, the best best race day or yeah. the best race day of the year. Yeah, but right. so too hard. But uh, we've got Brisbane race six number six milkman at three dollars ninety at yeah, the moment. Yeah that's Gabby's that's his main one. That's the that's one he said, one. boys, just load up on that really? one. Really? Yep, yep, yep. Is that mortgage the house on that one? Or yes, just... he said, well, he said, and we'll, we'll hold him to that. He'll hold him to that. Uh, going into Ascot, race seven, number eight, real charisma. Now, Mr. W. Pipe on a $2.10 favourite, mate. You yeah. just uh, you just put that one in the bank, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, it's just a bit of... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Play money with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he never failed you. William Pike laid at Ascot on a, on a $2 favourite. And uh, into race eight, at Ascot as well, uh, number seven is Wilcino. So that's at two sixty as well. So What's that? Uh, that is What's that get us there, you? 22 to 1 I've done my math so we better get on that yeah. tell you what that's a great start with great Andrew. start so 22 <laughs> to 1 if we, can, if we can get that across the, the line guys that uh, we'll be very very happy with that um, so yeah so get on the uh, the multi of the week and even yourself might have a dollar or two on it take them yeah we might have to we might have to yeah. Yeah, just, my, yeah. my friend might have to as well I reckon <laughs> <laughs> so, it, but uh, guys you know once again thanks a lot for listening here and uh, we're going to finish off with the I told you we, we're going to do a, a segment each week where it's just going to be off the cuff and we want to hear from you and like we keep going is robohawktalk at gmail.com um, and we want to hear some funny stories funny umpiring stories because we got told a few on Tuesday night from a few of the lads down down in the seconds and thirds and fourths where you have to umpire yourself sometimes <laughs> and you know a couple of things might not go the right way or you might get able to get confused in a couple of decisions yeah, and right. I think we're going to play a clip as well to, to yeah. show the boys of what we're talking about so yeah. that'll come up but um, I've got a couple here and look you know Daniel, young veggie, and we're called veggie veggie for a reason. Yeah, you know, yep. he's a vegetarian. Yep. So don't don't ring in and uh, email the club and try and cancel us in a second show. It's, a, <laughs> it's not, you know, it's not, there's nothing wrong with him. It's, it's veggie because he's a vegetarian, a self-proclaimed vegetarian. Yep. Until he goes on holidays, then he eats about thirteen kebabs. Yeah, it's a self-proclaimed, <laughs> self-proclaimed vegetarian with a kebab addiction. So. <laughs> But we, uh, love him. we do love him, but I've got a couple from Veggie, and this is from a couple of boys there uh, letting us know on uh, Tuesday night. So one day Veggie was uh, umpiring, and <clears throat> he called a wide. And the bowler was dismayed. He turned around and he goes, how can that be a wide? He's hit it. So apparently he's cut it to cover. And Veggie turned around and goes, that's a wide. But he goes, but he's hit it. And he goes, but it would have been a wide. <laughs> So good work there, Benji. One for yeah. us, mate. One for us. So that's that. Uh, and another time as well, a uh, a a gentleman down in the club. He told me that uh, they were umpiring with each other, and Benji uh, come up between. He was doing the square leg, and the other bloke was doing the central umpiring. Just thought, yeah, we'll yep. ease Benji into it. And uh, Veggie might have just said to him between, you know, between overs, just said, look, um, do I give the LBWs or do you give the LBWs? <laughs> <laughs> he just, just leave it to me. Oh, <laughs> I'm done. And, uh, yeah, from yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, the last one, uh, Horsey. You get a mention as well, mate. Uh, apparently, he's, someone's played the ball and hit the pads a little bit close, but you just said going down off. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's what we're talking about, guys. So next next week, we want a couple of more, just you know, a couple of inside stories. We'll just quickly go through them and we'll go from there. But yeah. make sure you like us on Facebook, subscribe, yeah. Instagram, subscribe YouTube, YouTube yeah. everything you can. Get us across the line. We don't, you know, want to keep going. Um, there might be some good ads. If you're a sponsor out there, we're going to ask you to do a 20-second take. We'll get you through the podcast. Um, there might be some celebrities we might yeah, be able to get on. Out. So yeah, a couple of uh, yeah. current AFL and ex-AFL players as well. Yeah, so we've well, got a lot of people in the know there. So well, everyone wants uh, to jump on board. Yeah, everyone wants to jump on board. Get on to www.robelcc.com. Um, you know, if you want to get involved as a player, you've got a mate, friend, whatever it is, junior, senior, please get involved. It is a great club. As you can see, some of the stories, some of the things that juniors and seniors are doing, it's a really good vibe this yep, year, Tato, at the club. So, Looking forward to it. Yeah, so get on board. But uh, we've been told we have to do a sign-out, so you stay classy, Roville. <laughs>